Hi all, very good morning and good evening. So most of us uh, having confusion of uh, which model we need to choose for our database. Okay, these are all the common questions we are all having. Which pricing model is the best? Either D2 model or V core model. Which pricing model I need to choose for my database? In which model I can save more money? Can I move or scale up DB from D2, mod, D2 to V core model or V core to D2 model? Can I scale up or scale down? Okay, these things I am talking in this video. Okay, yeah. So guys, what is D2 is uh, nothing but D2 is a blended of CPU, memory and IO. See, as I show you here, uh, it's a blended of CPU, memory and IO. Okay, suppose five DTUs. 5 DTUs, it's not equal to 5 CPU, 5 GB memory. It's not like that. Just 5 DTUs, that, that's it, okay? DTU is a, a just a fraction of portion of CPU, portion of memory, portion of IO, okay? So normally, uh, 100, standard, 100 standard DTUs uh, almost equal to the one CPU, guys, okay? So why this DTU model is introduced by the Microsoft is, suppose, guys, in on-premise, we have an on-premise server, a school server. Suppose to run a Windows server, we need minimum CPUs. So minimum CPUs we required is uh, at least, you know, um, two CPUs, at least eight CPUs uh, we require, you know, uh, because within the Windows machine itself, we are uh, maintaining a school server along with uh, Windows. You are buying, you are buying Windows with your own licenses and to run the Windows, Again, you are giving your own resources. But in past model, guys, you do not have Windows. Okay, you don't need to give your CPU memory to the Windows in past model because there is no Windows at all. So uh, for my database, for my database, I don't require even one CPU. My database, even I don't need one CPU. In that case, okay, you can uh, go for DTU model, okay. D2 model is a, I just, I already told you guys. So just a uh, portion of CPU, okay? So minimum, minimum uh, CPU. So for my database guys, okay? For my database uh, in past model, okay? In uh, single database model, minimum. Minimum I can keep into five DTUs guys. Five DTUs, see the cost is around five dollars okay i can start with minimum five dollars suppose if i choose the v core model okay what is the minimum price guys so i need to select at least two, two cpus over here there is no half cpu there is no one by four cpu here so minimum i need to start with two v cores okay see uh, 375 dollars here okay my database really not required two CPUs. In that case, you will be on, on the D2 model and you can save the money. So how are you gonna say your database is required so uh, this many DTUs and all? For that, you just see the graph. See, this is the graph something like this, okay? So my database right now in D2 model, still it is showing some 10% and all. So we measure the uh, database performance based on the graph, okay? So when you really don't need two CPUs, in that case, you, you will be, uh, you can go for D2 model. Suppose uh, if you want, uh, your database size is more, in that case, you can go for vCore model. Let me tell you that, uh, that also I will explain you clearly in real time scenario. Suppose guys, um, I have a database, okay? I have a database, that database right now in uh, P4, premium P4, okay? So premium P, P4 means uh, 500 DTUs. For, for 500 DTUs, the cost is around, okay, 1800 US dollars, okay? But here, uh, soon it is going to hit by one terabyte, okay? If you can, uh, let me zoom, guys. If I zoom here, see, soon it is, uh, right now, um, 500 DTUs are there. Soon it is going to hit by one terabyte. See, if I see, if I, See here, right now 700 GB around, okay? Soon it is gonna hit by one terabyte. But here, I do not have a space. Only one terabyte space I have here, okay? Uh, I want more space here. For that, what you need to do? You need to increase the DTU count. You are increasing the DTU count. 
indirectly you are increasing cp1 memory also you are paying indirectly for cp1 memory also you don't uh, you don't need to pay per cp1 memory because here if you see the graph here it is always showing 12% why you need to pay for cp1 memory just i need only space here why i need to pay for money for cp1 memory in that case in that such kind of scenarios okay you can go for v core model suppose i don't want to go for v core model i will be on still in dtu model that's okay if you go for you know uh, 500 dtus to 1000 dtus if you go it almost double not almost it it would be double cost okay it would be double cost even for 1000 dtus also they are not giving space okay you need to go for 1750 dtus if you go for 1750 dtus they are giving 1.5 terabyte see just for 500 gb okay just five just for 500 gb you are paying more than half into three times okay in more than half into three times almost into four times you are paying okay yeah so almost uh, 12000 dollars you are paying if you are going for d2 uh, if you are increasing just for 500 gb you are paying almost 12000 dollars guys here suppose if you go for v core model okay i will show you here suppose if i go for v core model see <clears throat> i choose the six cpus okay six cpus is nothing but almost uh, 600 dtus okay almost 600 dtus see for six cpus uh, they are giving 1.5 terabyte okay see one for 1.5 terabyte the cost is 3000 dollars something okay uh, suppose if i go for 12 v cores they are giving 3 terabytes there for getting 1.5 terabyte okay they are charging around 12000 dollars okay but here just for 1.5 uh, terabyte they are only charging 3000 dollars and for 3 terabyte they only charging 6000 dollars because you don't need there you don't need cpu and memory but here you can you only need the space just increase the space okay just increase the space so what is dtu model is okay again guys uh, what is v core model is v core model is a kind of independent scaling okay cpu if you want more cpu you can increase if you want memory you can increase only only memory only cpu only i o you have a flexibility here but in dtu model it's not like that it's a it's a kind of one plus one offer whether you don't need you need to take it and you need to take and you, you also need to pay for that okay so uh, what is the conclusion here guys so i am not saying dtu model is the best always i am not saying v core model is the best always okay depend on the database depend on the scenario dtu model is best and v core model is best okay so uh, if i conclude you know for small small databases okay small size databases dtu model is very good okay uh, for big databases v core model is best okay so there are one more advantage guys if you go for v core model so you can take reservations okay you can take reservation uh, yeah reservation also possible here and uh, you you have hybrid benefit also hybrid benefit is nothing but uh, so if you have any uh, on premise license of uh, windows on premise uh, uh, sql server license if you surrender that license they will give you some discount in v core model so that is one more benefit in v core model so at the end what i am saying here guys for small databases dtu model is good v core model for big databases v core model is best okay so how you gonna know uh, so which model uh, the price and all guys for that you can use uh, uh, which one yeah pricing calculator you can use okay suppose uh, azure sql database uh, i just clicked here go go view okay suppose uh, there is a database single database uh, i want to be in dtu model see for dtu model 5 5 us dollars suppose v core model okay minimum start minimum start is 2 cpus so minimum price is 368 us dollars so like this uh, you can compare the prices 
okay you can compare the prices you can take a best decision thanks guys thanks for watching yeah so if you like my video uh, just subscribe my channel guys i use it to post lot of uh, tips and tricks on sql server just subscribe my video and keep comments yeah so myself guys i am rasekaredi bolla okay i am having total 10 years of experience into the dba development performance training and into the cloud so i am also a trainer guys uh, corporate trainer yeah thanks guys uh, thanks for watching my video yeah good luck